Good afternoon and welcome back to the WinCams channel. Today we're going to talk about adding a new user for a new employee or if you're just getting started in WinCams and you want to have a new person to um, log in to WinCams. So we're going to be working under File, oops, sorry, File, System, Security, and then there are two programs in there, Users and Groups. So if I uh, click Users, this has the coffee break safety feature where you can't walk up to someone else's computer and get into users and change your own authority in cams if you don't have you know their password. So we enter our password and uh, we get into the cams user list. As you can see, I have um, some large number, 134 users in here. Um, you can put in as many as you want. To add a new user, I hit plus. I make my user ID test. If this user is an employee, they don't have to be an employee, but if they're an employee, then we can give them an employee number, and that's very helpful for and pretty much required for them entering their own time cards so that we know who they are when they log in. Uh, we put in a name, Testy McTesterson. Uh, the initials, we need an initials because that's what we're going to use when they enter records and we want to save who created the record or save uh, when they change the status of a record such as uh, posting or submitting a time card or things like that. So we will try TT and that has to be unique from, for other, um, it can't, it can't uh, conflict with other initials. The rest of the stuff we could put in, the phone number and things like that, not terribly important to me right now. I'm going to set my password. There are no controls on this password. Unless you want them, we can turn on some um, some complex password limitations and expirations and things like that. I'm going to confirm my password. Of course, this person defaults to active. Okay, The expiration is many years in the future. Uh, so I save here. If I made this person a system admin, that means that they can do two things. One, they can go into any area of CAMS and have full rights and full um, full posting, full delete rights. They can get into every menu item that you have in your contract for CAMS. It also means that they are uh, that they can add users, right? So you have to be a system administrator to add or manipulate users uh, and change their other people's access rights or your own and I guess the third thing it means is that if you are system admin you are a timekeeper in pay period time cards and you can see everyone's time and you can update time cards at the highest levels so this gives me access to cams as far as a login as test detest McTesterson but if I'm not a system admin, then I'm going to need to be in some groups. Okay, so security groups are where we define the access points that you can you can do through CAMS. So let's go to File, System, Security, and Groups. Again, it's going to want me to enter my password. This is not the test password. This is the password for who I'm logged in as up here. Okay. So we, we have a few groups set up in here. You, if you have an existing CAM system, you'll probably see some groups like this. Um, they, they can be whatever you want, but this is a time entry group. And you can set up rights by module or by program. So you can go, time, you can go top down or bottom up. So a module, so when I create a group, it fills up all the modules that, you have, that I have in my system. This group actually is saying, no rights to any of the modules, okay? And then they have specific program rights to just time cards and payroll period time cards to edit, insert, and delete, okay? So if you, so you can, so this is a bottom up idea. Give, give me no rights except for these two specific programs. I could also go the reverse. I could give this, this group full rights, say, to, um, to time cards and then back off the rights on the on the programs so the program within a given group the program rights 
override the module rights. If you're in more than one group, then you get the accumulation of all those rights. So, uh, we can put this person in, and you can put people into groups either here in the group itself, you can add people to the list, and you can so, so you can see here who else is in that group, or you can you may go to the user list and add them to, to any existing groups. Okay, so I put this person in time entry. Maybe I also put them in uh, road operations. I don't know what road operations does in this particular database, but we could find out. Road operations has some browsing rights to the bridges, meaning they cannot update any records, but they can get in. It has some row, uh, edit, insert, and delete rights to the roads module, the road inventory module, and the signs module. Okay, so they would get in. There's no program rights, specific program rights in this group. So if I'm in road ops and I'm in time entry, then I get those two time entry programs. I get these road programs, road materials programs, and the science programs, and, and browse only in the bridges module. And this would actually control my menu options so that I can't even see the modules that I don't have access to. Okay. Um, what else do I need to know about groups? Um, so now we can go out and we can try to log in as Testy McTesterson. So let me try this real quick. So, so if I log in as test, you'll also notice that when I put in my user login, as soon as I get it correct, this user info tab pops up and I'm able to change my name or my password even without being able to go into security. Okay. So when I go in as test, it sets up my database. That's what it's doing when it's flashing around here. And I can see that I only have access to time cards and to roads and bridges and road materials, inventory, and signs, just like I said. So I don't even see the other um, the other modules. And if you see other modules that are disabled, it's because you aren't you have you have hide disabled menu items turned off. So I, now I can see all the disabled ones, but it's just a cluttered menu that I don't really want to bother with. So I can turn on hide disabled menu items, and now I see exactly what I want to see. Okay. But if this person, if Testy McTesterson goes into security, oops, now I'm, I'm still, hold on, let me get in there. If Testy McTesterson goes into security and it's not already running on the same workstation, I'm confused, I have no pro program rights to get into there. Okay? And if I go into the road masters or the bridge master somewhere where I have um, browse only rights, let's say, then it's here's what's going to happen if I try to do more than browse. So I can get in there just fine. I can move around. I can go to the directory. I can see what's going on with these bridges. And then if I say I want to type in a description here, edit not authorized. Okay. So, so if I have edit rights, I could edit there. Maybe I can't create a new bridge. You insert is to create a new record. Edit is obviously to edit them, and delete is to delete anything in that record. So I obviously couldn't delete this re this bridge either. Delete not authorized. Okay, that's all I can think of on setting up a new user um, for today. Thank you very much.